Straightening it out down the back straight away. Larry, they're going to be coming at you. You know what? They're sitting in those trucks now. They're tightening those belts up one last time to make sure they're good and safe. Pace car is off, ladies and gentlemen, and here we go. Music City Motorplex. Woo! A Dodge leads them down to the green flag. Michael Driscoll, the Beeman Dodge number 86 out in front. Scott Borchetta in second. John the Bull Earhart runs in third. Blake Carter already up to fourth. Borchetta looking to put a move on Driscoll. Can't do it. The first lap will go to Michael Driscoll. One lap in and 10 lap heat race. Sparks from underneath Blake Carter as he goes through turn two. Once again, Borchetta to the inside of Driscoll. He's going to make it work this time by. Blake Carter now to the inside of John Earhart. Those two still side by side. Little bit of a twitch from Earhart as he goes through one and two. He holds on to it and maintains fourth. Blake Williams in fifth. That's Nicholas Formosa in sixth in the 81. Steve Swain Tech in the 88 rounds out the field. Blake Carter starting to reel in Michael Driscoll. And Blake Williams all over the back, back bumper of John Earhart. Earhart slips high. Williams going to look low. Got a nose under him going into three. Still side by side. Williams going to take the position. Here comes Nicholas Formosa as well. Nicholas spent some time at the Latin Street Fair here last Saturday signing some autographs. Still side by side. They don't call Earhart the bull for nothing. Seven laps in, three to go. Tough to say what the cooler temperatures are going to do for the tires tonight. Doesn't look like Carter's going to try and make any further moves. Borchetta content to run laps in about the 21-5 range. Nicholas Formosa looks like he might have something for Blake Williams yet as they come down to take the white flag from starter Gary Davis up there in that beautiful Dollar General flag stand. And here they come. That's the way they're going to finish. Scott Borchetta takes the checkered flag in the WSIX 98 Chevy. Michael Driscoll second, Blake Carter in third, Blake Williams. I don't know about the big time bar yet, but we're working on that. Um, he's down here hanging out. He can't get enough of this racing. You need to be in a car, pal. You're still helping somebody out. But uh, look forward to seeing you win a race this year in the truck. Well, I think we can. I mean, uh, Kip McCord and those guys and, and Bobby Hampton racing, they, they give me the stuff I need to to go out and do that. So uh, we'll see what we can do. We go to Gateway in a couple weeks or, or next week. So uh, we'll go have some fun and, and see what we can what we can get done. Well, good luck, man. We love having you here. Get a chance to holler Chase down here as soon as you can. Scott Borchetta looks like he's got still. Scott, look like you're getting back on track here, buddy. Oh, yeah, this team is no die, baby. So uh, we've spent a lot of time on the truck this week. And uh, we came out with a real focus on what we want to get done tonight. So Team 98 racing for the kids at St. Jude, powered by Carl Black Chevrolet. With one down, one to go. You think you got something for the feature then? 
guests. Boy, you know what? That's what I like about you, Scott. Positive, ladies and gentlemen. Scott here is our 2004 champion. Keep an eye on Scott Borchetta. Ladies and gentlemen, over here in Enfield, we got our uh, our guys from Dollar General Store down here hanging out with us tonight. What do y'all think about all this going on out here? What do you think about this? You know what? I need to go to the Dollar General and get me some throat laundries because things is not working real good. This is the first time we've been here, and this is just fantastic. Gary Davis turns him loose. Scott Fecho reassumes the lead in his number 89. Ricky Bolden in second. Kyle Fletcher runs in third. Fletcher all over the back of Bolden so far. Jesse Williams runs in fourth. Jason Everett spun a little bit earlier, runs in fifth. Fletcher really hounding Bolden. Bolden also all over the back of Scott Fecho. The front three knows to tail as they go through three and four. Two laps in in this 10 lap heat race for the super trucks. Fetcho very strong off the turns. Bolden catches right up to him through the turns. Fetcho gets a good jump off. Good-looking truck, that Precision Auto body entry for Scott Fecho. Ricky Bolden right behind him for a long time. The track record holder in the late model division. Took about four years for that record to be broken. They get the halfway signal from Gary Davis. Good laps being turned out there by Fecho. That's a 21-3. That's faster than we're running the first heat race. Bolden keeping pace with him. Fletcher beginning to fall off just a little bit in third. Ricky Bolden hasn't given up yet as they work lap seven of ten. Again, keep in mind these heat races set the field for the features later on. Ricky Bolden all over the back end of Scott Fecho. Gets Fecho a little bit squirrely. Bolden backs off. That allows Kyle Fletcher to catch back up in third. They'll be getting one lap to go next time by. We'll see if Bolden takes one more shot at him as they take the white flag. Nobody's going to catch him seeing his first checkered flag at the Music City Motorplex. Lebanon, Tennessee, Scott Fecho in the Precision Auto Body Entry number 89. Ricky Bolden comes sponsors of several vehicles out here as they get the one to go signal. Truck's going to go side by side as they go into turn one and two. Once again, Grand National Sportsman, you need to be bringing your cars up to the pre grid now. Grand National Sportsman, bring your cars up to the pre-grid right now. Larry, we got quite a rivalry out there in front. Blake Carter, Ricky Bolden, and Scott Borchetta. Oh, yeah. You better keep your eyes on the little truck, guys. 
Those boys right there are going to get very serious about right now. Coming out of turn four, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a big wave as they go by. Green flag is out. As they run off into turn one, Blake Carter out in front. Ricky Bolden for the moment in second. Scott Borchetta going to try and take it away from him. Borchetta comes out of four with second. Bolden in third. Scott Fetcho runs in fourth. Good battle for fifth. Kyle Fletcher, Michael Driscoll, and Blake Williams. Fletcher and Driscoll still side by side. Blake Carter out in front and going away. Scott Borchett is going to have some work cut out for him. Going to try and catch up with the points leader, Blake Carter, in that print graphics vehicle. Ricky Bolden still third. Got a battle going back in the pack between Nicholas Formosa and John Earhart. Got a couple of battles right in front of them. Michael Driscoll and Blake Williams going at it also. Five laps in of a scheduled 40. Driscoll's pulled out about, or rather Blake Carter has pulled out about a second and a half lead over Scott Borchetta. Carter apparently determined to hold on to that point lead. Formosa and Earhart still side by side back in the pack. Same applies for Williams and Driscoll a little bit further up. Kyle Fletcher a good job in fifth so far. Might be holding up that group behind him a little bit but still maintaining a solid top five run. Blake Carter, all of 11 points lead over Scott Borchetta. Razor thin that margin. Not so his lead here so far. He's managed to spread it out a little bit more over Scott Borchetta in second. Why don't we go ahead and tell you who's running where. Borchetta second, Ricky Bolden in third, fourth Scott Fetcho. Kyle Fletcher runs fifth, Blake Williams sixth. Michael Driscoll, seventh, right now eighth, very much in question. John Earhart holds it for the moment. Nicholas Formosa runs ninth. Jesse Williams, tenth. Eleventh and twelfth, good little battle there. Steve Swaintech and Jason Everett. Good recovery for Everett from a spin earlier. Borchetta starting to pull away now a little bit from Ricky Bolden in third. Can't say enough, a good run so far for Fetcho in the 89. Still got great battles for sixth and seventh and eighth and ninth. Formosa and Earhart have been going at it like crazy for the last several laps, just side by side. Formosa a little bit sideways through one and two. Earhart, not the easiest driver to pass out here at the Motorplex.
That truck, I believe, also has some experience on Sunday Family Fun Day. During last season, he ran it in the Tennessee Outlaws division. One crazy division that just about anything goes. Another look to the inside, Michael Driscoll on Blake Williams. Looks like Borchetta starting to close in a little bit on Blake Carter. The stopwatch says he is. The margin down to 1.3 seconds now. And still, Steve Swaintech and Jason Everett having their own little battle at the back of the pack. And around goes Blake Williams, slaps the wall in turn two with the driver's side. He's got the truck rolling. White. Light out on the safety car. Mark Gregory behind the wheel. Beautiful Dodge Intrepid as Blake Williams roars out of the pits to rejoin the field. Gary Davis with the green flag in hand. Blake Carter bringing him down very slowly. He is nailing the gas right now. And they are underway. Scott Borchetta, Ricky Bolden side by side. Scott Fetcho and Michael Driscoll also side by side. Bolden still holding on to second by a nose. Driscoll looking very stout, may make that cone move pay off. He's going to take over fourth from Fetcho, at least for the moment. And Ricky Bolden, very strong on the outside, still holding on to second. Antioch, Tennessee veteran in the 09, looking strong, managing to hold off Scott Borchetta, and in the process, allowing Blake Carter to build up a good, healthy lead again. Good battles back in the pack once again. Nicholas Formosa and John Earhart still going at it. 18 laps in, 19 now. And once again, Steve Swaintech and Jason Everett still side by side. Blake Williams just hoping for another yellow so he can catch up as crossed flags go out. The other Blake, Carter, the points leader, and your leader in the race, has built himself up a two-second lead over Ricky Bolden. And Nicholas Formosa has finally gotten around John Earhart and is looking for a way around Kyle Fletcher. And he's going to take that position away. And now it is Earhart trying to go by, and he has gotten past Fletcher, kind of bowls his way past. Give Fletcher a little shot in two. Fletcher returns the favor as they go through four. Your top five, still Blake Carter, Ricky Bolden, Scott Borchetta, Michael Driscoll, and Scott Fecho. as we have 23 laps in the book. Scott Fetcho looking to the inside of the Beeman truck of Michael Driscoll going to try to reassume that fourth position he had earlier. He's got a good run coming off of two. Nicholas Formosa, a good strong run for this youngster. Fecho going to lead that lap by a nose. 
that for fourth position and going to take it solidly as they come out of two. Driscoll staying high, leaves the door open for Formosa. Excellent run for one of the longtime racing names here at the Motorplex. Meanwhile, out in front, Blake Carter has really spread out the lead over Ricky Bolden. That's up to 2.6 seconds. If Borchett is holding anything back, he needs to turn it loose. 12 laps to go. And he's got quite a margin he needs to make up. Jesse Williams now trying to make a move to the inside of Kyle Fletcher. Gets a little bit sideways through one, but because he's going to take over the position. Now it's Jason Everett's turn to try to get around the 19 of Kyle Fletcher, who has really got a pushing problem going through the turns. Serious problems on the number 19. Ten laps to go, and it just does not look like Scott Borchetta has anything for Ricky Bolden or for Blake Carter. Fecho still looking strong in fourth. Working lap 33, and now it's three seconds the lead as Scott Borchetta looks like he's finally gotten impatient with Ricky Bolden starting to hound him. Back in fourth and fifth, Scott Fetcho and Nick Formosa going at it. Borchetta close enough to put some paint on the rear end of the 09. Steve Swain Tech getting the move over flag from Gary Davis. Blake Williams already a lap down. A shame after a good early run for the number 17. Swain Tech going to move high through three and four. Let Blake Carter by. Best battle on the racetrack right now. Jesse Williams has come to life trying to get past John the Bull Earhart. Blake Williams going to pick up a position back in the pack, getting past Steve Swain Tech. They're going to get two to go next time by. And the print graphics truck is just putting a hurting on the field. Lead up to three and a quarter seconds. Ricky Bolden trying to hold on to second. As they come through traffic, Scott Borchetta looks like he wants to make a move as they come around to lap Steve Swaintech. Nothing there yet. Carter takes the white flag.
He's got almost a full straightaway over second place. Twin checkered flags out. Murfreesboro, Tennessee's Blake Carter takes the win in the super truck feature. By over three seconds, Ricky Bolden ends up in second. Scott Borchetta third. Scott Fecho ends up in fourth. Nicholas Formosa, great run, ends up in fifth. Larry? Blake Carter, man, proud of you, buddy. Come on over here. Let's get right in and get your picture and we'll interview you. Hey, Alan, if you're going to win one, I'll win one big, ain't it right? Holy smokes. Hey, buddy. Blake, when you're going to win a race, you just took off and left the whole bunch, didn't you? Man, I, I owe it to Alan Carter, Jay, and uh, Brian Wart, man. They, we tried something on the setup. We had a tire that was getting eat up on the right side. We put it on the left side. Worked on it all the way up until the feature, and uh, they told me, just drive it. It's going to work. I was kind of cautious it was going to work, and it worked, man. Well, cousin Tommy over there, you know, Tommy's pretty good at winning races, too. And, uh, of course, uh, James, he said you was driving that thing sideways and everything else and just wearing it out out there. It, it was a little sideways. I drove it for everything it was worth. Uh, I got beat in the first race here, me and Scott. He passed me about five to go, and I, I couldn't let it happen this time. I knew if I stretched out there and we didn't have another caution, I'd have room to give in case I slipped up. Well, we're very excited for you. All your fans, of course, your daddy won a lot of races, championship. Tell us about your sponsors and your beautiful, that's a one beautiful truck there, buddy. Yeah, that's a uh, 2005 Chevrolet truck right there. It's a uh, print graphics out of Jackson, Tennessee, Tommy White Motorsports, Hearst Construction out of Christiana, uh, American Freight, print graphics again on the hood there, uh, Jimmy Davis Auto, Future Transmission Parts, uh, Hot Spot Tanning, and uh, Hell's Mobile Home Parts. Well, you know what? You deserve a party. Congratulations, Alan. Miss Carter, all you bunch, y'all have a great time up here in this victory circle tonight. Get in there and just have a ball. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, Blake Carter, ladies and gentlemen, your winner tonight, the number 31 print graphic Chevrolet. Your points leader so far. Nothing there yet. Carter takes the white flag. He's got almost a full straightaway over second place. Twin checkered flags out. Murfreesboro, Tennessee's Blake.